Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Somalia National Television English with me, Muhammad Salim, broadcasting from our studio in Hargeisa. We're here to bring you the latest news in Somaliland. Here are the stories making headlines. The Zilani administration has no tolerance policy towards corruption. Emergency meeting held to discuss a fair drought in regions of Somaliland. Governor and elected officials of Tugda region hold a press conference. The Zilani administration strategy of holding everyone involved in corruption accountable has proven successful. In recent years, high ranking government officials have been relieved of duties pending a criminal investigation. Somaliland society expecting nothing less from government that pledged to take strong stance against corruption during its opposition days. The Somaliland government has maintained a no-tolerance policy towards corruption. One of the first steps the Sidani administration took was to create an anti-corruption agency, independent of the government responsible for safeguarding democratic principles of these governmental institutions. In recent news, the governor of Hargeisa, director general of the Ministry of Resettlement and Rehabilitation, and the vice president's consultant were arrested and relieved from all duties pending a criminal investigation. These individuals have been accused of mismanaging charitable goods intended for internally displaced people. The Sinai administration has worked with UNDP officials to initiate programs and projects aimed at improving governance by eliminating corruption. It is this no-tolerance policy that has enabled institutions such as the Anti-Corruption Agency to fulfill their work. The Minister of Finance, Mohamed Hashi Ilmi, has stressed the importance of eradicating corruption as a key component for progress and development. In his speech to both Houses of Parliament, he stated that many individuals sitting before him are not taxpayers. Furthermore, evading tax is corruption. Therefore, Somalilanders must pay taxes to reach development. After media speculation surfaced of the Foreign Minister's involvement in illegitimate activities, the Foreign Minister, Mohammed Abdullahi Omar, urged the Ministry of Finance Office responsible for safeguarding public funds to perform an external audit of the Foreign Ministry. An investigation is being carried out by the Accountant General that will shed light on the Fire Director General's allegations and claims. The Sinai administration is keen to set an example of any government official, no matter the title or position involved in corruption. The upside or benefit from all these situations is the people's support for a government that will not step aside or step down from any illegitimate activities. The governor of Hargeis is not the only elected official caught with his hand in the cookie jar. On an international scale, many governors and government officials have been relieved of duties due to corruption. From the mayor of Washington, D.C., parliamentarians in the United Kingdom, to all over the world. In essence, human beings are bound to make mistakes. However, it is through the sincere application of democracy and fair justice for all that acts of corruption are tried in the court of law, and those found guilty are held accountable. Former Governor of Hargeisa, Director General of Resettlement and Rehabilitation and the Vice President's Consultant underestimated the democracy of Somaliland, and all three individuals face consequences pending a full investigation. The people of Somaliland have stressed their support for a no-tolerance policy towards corruption. <laughs> وحن أركه يا مانتا أو إيه موضوع تلابوين دولة دي هرا أين قاعد يشرين إن أي دولة دن عصبي أي قاعد وياي واحد كم تاعه هرمر هر هرمر كأي نقاني مركا مسؤولين هير قرنا أو بليبا أي وطن كم مصب كله مانتا الله كأنا يجو لوجو كأنا فلل مركا زي إما كله ليه يهاي إن وحن تلونسي تنير وحن وارقنا إن أي تاي تلابو أب يعاد قيمة بدن وحن نقولنا هاي يجا ويا نكو كوبنان ويحيد فوق هاسين لقو هلو إن عد والبها أهاتو أين حكومة دوك جابسن أي كذا دوت تكتب ملك استو أي شوغان. The democratic path of Somaliland cannot foresee selfish desires that lead to corruption. However, it can pursue, find, and try everyone and anyone found guilty of illegitimate activities. Somaliland citizens wait anxiously and wonder. Will the Silani administration continue on their current track of bringing those accused of corruption to justice? The Minister of Health hosted an emergency meeting to discuss the severity of drought-affected areas in Somaliland. Those present included the Minister of Health, 
Minister of Resettlement and Reconstruction and other high-ranking officials from ministries and international organizations. Residents of these road-affected areas have sent video messages to Somaliland citizens and international community. Organization in Somaliland National Television has played a strong role in providing a setting for their voices to be heard. The Minister of Health, Hussein Mohamed Hoog, held an emergency meeting to find suitable solutions to drought-affected areas in Somaliland. Residents of these impacted areas have voiced concerned pleas for assistance, and committees responsible for reporting on drought-affected areas have confirmed the severity. Minister Hoog spoke at the event. Opinion and according to, to, to what I have seen, it's very necessary to send a short mission from, the, from those people uh, to, 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 to know uh, the real uh, uh, situation and to make uh, a proper uh, action. Thank you. This is not the first time that Somaliland is attempting to offer emergency assistance to drought affected areas. The Sileni administration has obtained donations from Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, and other nations that have offered much-needed assistance to these affected areas. The Minister of Resettlement and Rehabilitation, Abdurrahman Ali Usman, spoke at the event through a translator. The Ministry of Water and Mineral Resources team have been there as well. Please can give us an update. But also, we had a copy of this report, which was done a long time back. This was a joint assessment led by the Ministry of Agriculture in October. But the, the, actually, the situation has been there for long, as we see in this report. And it seems now people are... Happy. Translator. There were other high-ranking members of multiple ministries and international organizations present at the meeting. The team representing the Ministry of Minerals and Energy Resources spoke as well. Congratulate you for the mission we had and the, your observations here, which is very necessary. The Ministry of Mineral and Water Resources has been engaged in these parts for a long time and we are still engaged. We know the Sahel area is always in trouble with the short, short chain of water. We know that the, the, the wells are drying because there has been no rain for a long, long time. So once the, goes, once the water level goes down, the whole area turns into salty, salty water. So we is not... UNICEF representatives, including Ms. Higgins, were present at the meeting. All involved parties pledged to cooperate in order to assist those most in need. Governor of Tugdar, Abdul Ahmed Ayer, holds a press conference discussing food items being donated to Baden region. The purpose was to explain the reason behind these food items being stored in Tugdar region. The police chief of Tugdar and other elected officials were also present. The governor of Togdair, parliamentarian of that region and other elected officials held a joint press conference discussing the transportation of food items to Baden region. The governor of Togdair region, Abdul Ahmed Aya, spoke and emphasized the need for people to understand the commissions which led to food items intended for Baden region to be held in Togdair. He stated that all food donations intended for Togdair region were dispersed and confirmed by chief police of Togdair. The food items that were being kept in private stores in Bra caused much speculations and concern among residents. However, the chief of police, Saleban Duala Obahle, spoke and explained the police were involved in, in disbursement of food donation. The vice governor of Togdair region, Ahmed Abdi Chama, stated Baran will receive the food donation intended for that region and the Togdair has received its donation. A conference discussing methods of improving journalism in Somaliland took place. The Director General of the Minister of Information and National Guidance, Faisal Ali Sheikh, and other respectable journalists spoke on ways to better the field of journalism. A meeting was held in Hargeisa discussing ways to enhance the capacity of journalists in Somaliland and minimize some challenge faced. This meeting, which was organized by Somaliland Journalist Organization, was participated by the Director General of the Minister of Information and National Guidance, Head of Bradford Media Houses and Journalists, solving challenges faced by journalists, enhancing their journalism capacity and knowledge sharing techniques between young and senior journalists was discussed as well. This meeting was also about empowering the young journalists to freely make their own reports. At the meeting, the participants conveyed a united message to the government and the House of Parliament in contributing to their work of journalists. 
that's all the news we have for you. For myself and the entire team here at the Salem TV News English, take care and until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.